Hey, what's going on? I hope you're having a fantastic Thursday afternoon. And um, I had a couple of things, uh, a couple of experiences uh, this morning that really inspired this video. So my day started at like 3.45 and then my alarm went off at like 4.40, 4.15. I got up, got out, s started my run at 5 in the morning and it was just a hard run. I mean, I was tired. I was exhausted. It was, it was brutal, like absolutely brutal. And when I came home, like I was so tired, like I was exhausted. I was literally laying on the floor and my daughter, my three-year-old daughter is wanting to play and I'm just kind of playing with her like, eh, hey, but like I literally laid on the floor and a couple of hours go by. I didn't lay up for the full couple of hours. I got some work done, but it was time for me to swim. And I had a hour swim scheduled and I'll be honest, I did not, I did not want to go swim. Like, I wanted to do anything but swim. Like, swimming, no way. Like, I did not want to go swim today. But I said, you know what? Let me go and let me just kind of splash around a little bit. If I go and splash around a little bit, at least I can say, at least I can say that I tried. At least I can say that I got in the water and I got my swim done. So that was the plan. I went to the gym, got in the pool, and started going through the first couple sets of the workout. And when I got like halfway through, I figured, you know what? Might as well just do it all. And I kind of got excited about doing it all. And eventually, I finished the swim, okay? I did it all. I didn't cut corners. I didn't, um, I didn't cheat, didn't cut corners, got it all done. The moral of the story is do the thing and you'll have the power. Okay, this is a quote from Emerson. Do the thing and you'll have the power. So I want to ask you right now, what excuses have you been making? What things have you been putting off? What excuses have you made today? And don't get me wrong, it's probably a perfectly good excuse. Okay, it's perfectly good excuse on why you shouldn't do this or why you shouldn't do that. But what's something that you said you were going to do today? What's an action step that you said you were going to take for your business or you said you're going to take for, you know, whatever project you're working on or something you said you were going to do for your spouse? What is something you said you were going to do today that you made a perfectly good reason to not do it? You have a perfectly good excuse and perfectly good reason not to take action on that thing. I want you to think about that and I want you to find a way to muster up as much willpower, as much, as much energy, as much excitement, whatever it takes to do it. And when you get done, you're going to be so happy and relieved that you actually did it. And then you're going to be able to use that experience moving forward to the next time when you don't want to do something. Okay? You just don't feel like it. You ever felt that way? Have you ever had something to do the day, do someday and you just didn't feel like it? You know, commitment is action continued long after the emotion is gone. Sometimes we don't feel like it. Sometimes we don't feel like doing the things that we said we were going to do or doing the things that we were supposed to do. Commitment is action continued long after the emotion is gone. So whatever you got going on today, just, uh, just, Take that into account. What excuses did you make? And what are you going to accomplish? What, are you going, what action steps are you going to take? What are you going to learn? What are you going to try? How are you going to grow? How are you going to shift? Because when you do the thing, you'll have the power. Bye for now.